Welcome back everyone to yet another episode and in today's super special video we'll be looking at the first ever pair of shell Cordovan shoes from Carlos Santos for the Noble Shoe. Coming up! For the past two years I've been begging Carlos Santos to make a pair of shell Cordovan boots and shoes. And after two excruciating years, I finally made it happen. So we got a chance to get some parts of Cell Cordovan from Italy, from an Italian tannery, and I put together a small, very limited group made to order for some people. And what did we come up with? We came up with a really amazing fill boot out of Shell Cordovan that I wanted to showcase and show to you. Uh, this boot is not commercially available, at least not at the moment, and it's quite pricey. But we will discuss all of this right after the showcase and the close-up where of course i'm gonna talk about a bit of the leather about the construction about the small details that this particular model has and of course if you find a similar boot on a similar last how would you size it so let's get on with the close-up all right let's get going and now at the close-up we will start by discussing the model itself which is the popular 9156 field boot model by carlos santos and this particular model, as you can see, it, uh, it reminds me of the Edward Green Galway, uh, the most popular boot design probably right now. And it is one of the staples at the Noble Shoe, this particular model, but uh, this design has a few special modifications that I want to showcase to you. And uh, I think the most uh, special one and the most unique one to start with is, of course, the leather, uh, which is Shell Cordovan. Uh, it's not exactly a leather, it's a membrane that comes from the rump of the horse, from, pretty much from its ass. And it's very, very interesting, very lustrous as you can see, very shiny, it does not crease, instead it rolls, and it's not porous, so it's quite waterproof as well. And uh, it's very easy to distinguish by looking at if there are any crease marks, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, how lustrous the leather is. It is quite reflective and it's uh, it quite shiny. Now, this particular one is not from uh, the Chicago Horwin tannery uh, because there are a lot of shortages and they are way too expensive to use. This one comes from uh, an Italian tannery called Grifone, I think. Uh, that's how you say it. And it ended up pretty nice and it was a good opportunity for me to, to check and compare to uh, the ones that I've tried from Horwin and as well from England. And you know what? Uh, it looks to be really, really nice. I think you can see it in the camera. Uh, we asked for this Bordeaux color 8, uh, you know, type of color, which is dark burgundy. It can vary a lot, uh, so it can appear quite dark uh, inside and indoors or at night, but overall it has a really, really nice red hue. And uh, other than that, we made sure that the eyelets also had the same tint as the leather, uh, so as the color, so it matches and is quite aesthetically pleasing. Of course, we put it on a really nice last, which is the 445. You can see it from the bottom as well. It has a very, very nice uh, sort of almond, soft, me medium uh, round toe. And uh, I think it looks really, really elegant. Now, as far as uh, the other extra modification that we did was uh, to add a storm welt. As you can see, the little strip of leather that goes here, it adds a bit more waterproofness and it makes it a little bit more casual and, uh, well, I would say badass looking. Other than that, of course, uh, uh, endlessly resolvable, uh, everything you know and love from Carlos Santos, and with the addition of my latest favorite, the Ridgeway rubber sole, which I consider a bit softer, but grippier than Dynite, but not as chunky as the Commando sole. And that's about it. Very simple, uh, very nice field boot, uh, quite dressy, I would say still, especially because of the color. And pull tab at the back, of course, genuine leather inside and all the goodies you get from Carlos Santos. And that's about it. Let's move on. And that concludes the close-up. I hope you really enjoyed seeing something really unique come out of the Noble Shoe and Carlos Santos, uh, especially for such a, you know, prestigious and uh, sought-after type of leather, such as Cell Cordovan. 
I think that this model ended up being really, really phenomenal and uh, beautiful. And if there is enough interest, I would like to bring it back. Uh, there will be a pair of shoes that I will be reviewing in the future that will be for my personal use. Unfortunately, these are for a client, so I cannot show them to you, you know, or how they would be worn. But in essence, they're really nice oxplod sort of dark brown, dark burgundy boots that you can wear with pretty much everything you want these days. Very durable, very nice makeup, uh, very rich colors, uh, very satisfied with how the leather looks and feels so far. I expect uh, something like this to cost you quite a lot, however, because Sal Cordovan is expensive. So you would be looking at about 850 to 950, I would say, uh, US dollars around the uh, Carmina ballpark, uh, which is quite a fair price. It's a really nice boot and Carlos Santos showed me that they can do a good job as well. Uh, so you take good value, you take good quality and a good model and you create something really good. Uh, as far as the sizing goes, uh, this is on the popular 445 last that they have in the Noble Shoe. And it's quite relevant for me to give you sizing advice because a lot of the boots that I carry in the shop or you might find in the wild come on this particular last. And the 445 for 90% of people I would say, based on my data and experience, runs half a size larger. So you would be looking at downsizing half a size from your regular UK or one and a half from your regular US. For reference, once more, if you're a UK eight and a half in say Carmina Rain or most Crockett and Jones, you would size down to UK eight. Same thing, if you're a US nine and a half D in Allen Edmonds, such as Park Avenues, you would go down to a UK eight for a nice snug fit. Of course, always remember to talk with your retailer and ask questions, send emails uh, when you're making such an important purchase. And that concludes uh, what was pretty much a, a nice, concise, short three-part series of different uh, models and showcases that we have in the Noble Shoe. I hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you have any feedback, uh, criticism or suggestions of what you would like to see next. And if you're new to the channel or not and haven't, please uh, leave a thumbs up, you know, leave a like, uh, and subscribe, press the notifications button. It really helps me to keep producing more content for you. Uh, that concludes our video, but before we go, we still have one last dad joke of the week. So I give it some thought, and it really takes guts to be an organ donor. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> it takes guts. Oh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sharing all your bad dad jokes. And if you want to feature here, leave a bad dad joke in the comments or email me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.